I am the one and only Dajay Keys. <laughs>
have I ever been cheated on? And my answer to that is yes, I have. One time out of my entire life, I've been cheated on one time. And the one time that I did get cheated on was years ago. And that's why I speak so well about it. And this is how I know so many different things about it and, and all of that. So um, the first time I did get cheated on, um, I couldn't really feel what a lot of people feel and like be so broken down and into my feelings. And, you know, I mean, it, it affected me, but it couldn't really affect me as much because I had a father, you know, who was there, who grabbed a hold of me and kind of gave me the, the talk, the conversation and talk me through things. I had brothers that was like, yo, you bomb, you tripping. Ooh, you got, ooh. you know, he was in my head giving me that boss talk. And then, you know, I had my mom who had been through it, you know, a couple of times in her life. So I had people surrounding me that wouldn't let me fall to fall victim to my feelings when it came to uh, the concept of cheating. You know, I was blessed with family. Everybody don't have that. So, you know, I had the luxury of being blessed with people to kind of grab hold of me and talk to me, including my auntie. Shout out to my TT, Olympia. I love you because she was there, too. And like, you know, we had some real talks and real conversations. And um, she took part in shaping me to become the woman that I am, too. So, you know, it's forever love with her, you know, and my family and stuff like that. But anyways, um, yeah, I couldn't really feel what everybody else felt because I had love. I had people surrounding me telling me like, yo, you ain't got to never got away. You know who you is. You know what I'm saying? They was giving that type of talk and really telling me how to get through it, how to get over it. Not blame myself, not dig myself into my insecurities. So the second question that y'all asked that everybody been really wanting to talk about is would I stay with somebody who has cheated on me and why? Now, me personally... No, I cannot. Not in who I am today, not in what I'm doing. And let me tell y'all the reason and why I can't is because one, it's the embarrassment of what cheating brings, depending on who it is and how it is done. See, some men carelessly cheat. Meaning where they sleep with women unprotected, they might get a woman pregnant, you know, they be spending money and all of this on women, you know. And I feel like for me, it is too much going out here and going on out here in this world. You got people out here that are uh, HIV positive, have herpes, have um, like real serious STDs and all types of stuff, which none of that is, you know, have none of that. I'm very clean, very clean female. You know what I'm saying? And you have people out here who have those type of things and it's easy passable. So imagine somebody you're in love with that you're giving your body to, that you're giving your love to and everything. And he goes sleep with another female and you're completely loyal and faithful to him. And he goes sleep with another female unprotected and then he come back and he sleep with you and then he pass you something off of that. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I can't go like that. I, 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 you know, even though we have no control over what a person is going to take us through in this world, it's like once you know better, you do better. So I feel like if a person is continuously cheating on you, you need to put a stop to it because it also can affect your health and how you are as a woman. It can also give, he can also, he if it, it depends because he can also give you something that you cannot get rid of. You know what I'm saying? So it's that carelessly cheating. So it's a, that's a hell no for me. And then you have the cheating that is embarrassing where they sleep with all types of women. And then you got women that be proud to say that they dealing with your dude because you know we are side chicks now. So now we got the women out here that be proud to say that they slept with your dude or had sex with your dude and it's not a secret. And then they exposing you all on social media and y'all getting into it or she posting all y'all business carelessly. And it's the embarrassment of it all. If I respect you enough to not do that to you, I respect me. And first of all, fuck you. I respect me enough to not cheat on you, enough to not disrespect our relationship, enough to not put another nigga in your spot and embarrass you while you with me. Why can't you respect me that same way? So it's like, if I got that much respect, not only for you, but for myself, I got it. You, you got to, you got to mess with somebody who matches your fly. And I feel like you don't match my love energy when you're so cool with, um, sleeping with somebody else while you have a commitment to another person. You can't love yourself. And that's how I feel about men who do that. You, I feel a lot of women take it, you know, they take cheating and they say, Oh, you know, he hurt me. He broke me down and stuff like that. And they be really in their feelings about it. But for me, I look down upon dudes who do that. And the reason why is because I feel sorry for you that you don't love yourself enough to be committed to one person. That's how you know when somebody don't have self-love. Because if you cannot stay committed to one person or be loyal to one person in this lifetime while you're or, or at least be honest about your feelings and, and keep it real with yourself and others, you don't love yourself. And I'm so sorry. I feel I, like you're nothing. Like, I'm so sorry that you feel so low about yourself that you can be had while you're with somebody else. And for me, it's, it's 
nothing more attractive than having a dude that is untouchable. Like I, I take pride in that because I know I am. I know any just anybody can't have me. I ain't gotta meet a nigga at the corner store and be fucking him, you know, next week. You know, that ain't my I love myself too much. You know, I, I give it time, you know, figure people out. I'm not in no rush for nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like true self love. Like I don't just give my love and my affection and all of that away to just anybody. And I feel like when you do, you I ain't got that much love for yourself. So if for me, it's not like, oh, you hurt me, you broke it. It's not like that. You know, the first time it happened to me, yeah, it was. But in my life today, even if I ever was to ever have to go through that spell again, it would not affect me in a way of, oh, I'm in my bed crying or, oh, I'm sad. If anything, I feel sorry for you that you don't love yourself enough to give your commitment the correct way. I'm so sorry that you feel you feel so less within your soul that other people can have you. I'm sorry. for I feel sorry for you because people who cheat, they are missing something. People who cheat on people, they are missing something. And they look and they look for different things in different women to make them feel whole. So I'm so sorry for you if you're missing something in your lifetime that makes you not feel whole. So you feel like you have to disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I just disassociate myself because what cheating does, cheating can dig you so far into your insecurities where you start to blame yourself. And, and that can't happen. That can't happen under no circumstances can that happen to you. So you have to learn how to disassociate yourself from cheating as well because when somebody cheat on you, sometimes it can turn a woman into, oh, who did he cheat on you with? If she's the complete opposite of you, you know, am I too skinny? Am I too thick? Do I, am I pretty enough? Do I have enough this? Am I not doing this enough? Should I have cooked more? Should I have cleaned more? You know, was I a good woman to your, to the kids? You know, like you dig yourself so far into your insecurities all because of what somebody else did to you when really it's not you that is, that was missing anything or that was low. It was all within him. So sometimes you have to learn how to disassociate yourself between who you are as a woman and what a person is going to do to you. And you also have to understand that you have absolutely no control. We have control over everything else in this world, but what a person is going to do to us. We cannot control their actions. And that's why I tell people all the time, you waste your time calling the man and make sure he ain't doing what he said he was going to do. You waste your time... Um, arguing and fighting and getting tool with a man you know trying to make sure he's he's keeping up his word to you you know you waste a lot of time trying to get a person to be to you what you are to them and if they if that's just not them then you can't deal with it you, you don't have to deal with it but also understand you have no control calling a man a million times uh up on him trying to make sure he being honest all of that means nothing because if a man is going to cheat on you or is going to do something wrong to you i want you to understand you have no control over what they do. All you have control over is what you're going to do after you know. It's not what a person do to you. It's how you handle it after it happens. And understand that un under no circumstances can you go hurt. Can you go in your bed at night crying? Can you go to sleep miserable because of what somebody else did? You have to learn how to love you. And I had to understand that when you don't have love for yourself, that's when you start to deal with things that you should not out of people that are hurting you. When your love is low for yourself, you take on more off of somebody else than what you would give out. That's why you got to get strong in that self-love and loving you and who you are as a woman. Because when somebody come in and try to do something that's wrong to you, it won't break you down. It won't, it won't dig you into your insecurities. It won't have you depressed and in your mind about who you are. You have to, like I told y'all before, you have to know who you are and stand on that. And I tell y'all all the time, we can do anything in this world, but going outside behind a man is not one of them. It, it will never be one of them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that it's it's not okay to hurt. I'm not saying that it's not okay to cry. I'm not saying that it's not okay to feel remorse after somebody has did you wrong. But what I'm telling you what's not okay is that you stay there. Because when you stay in the state of mind of being hurt, you keep yourself in victim mode. Will Smith said that the best, and I'm always quoting him, Denzel. I watch all of their motivational speeches and videos. And when you keep putting the blame on somebody for doing something to you, it keeps you in victim mode. Take yourself accountability for the, the, the things that you dealt with knowing what you knew and that you accepted knowing that you knew you shouldn't have. And, and take your accountability for the things that you did not know that you accepted and still stay there for or the things that you missed that you blame yourself for not paying attention to. Take yourself accountability from it and move on. You don't need no closure. You don't need none of that. 
but it's not okay to stay there. It don't matter what nobody take you through. It is absolutely not okay to stay there because the longer that you stay there, the more that you keep yourself in victim mode. And as long as you're tra trapped in victim mode, you're trying your best to play blame game. It's your fault. You, 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 you. You're never taking your accountability to heal. And that's what you need to heal. You need self-awareness and self-accountability. So pray to God and say, you know, God, you know, I take my, my blame for the things that I didn't pay attention to. And I take the blame for the things that I did and that I let slide and baby move on. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying to y'all is it's okay if somebody hurts you. It's okay if somebody do the wrong thing to you. It's so common in our world. Get used to it. We, we, there's always almost going to be a time in your life where you run into somebody who is bad because we have at least 70% bad people out here and 30% good. Okay. So you're almost always going to run into somebody who is bad, whether that's a friend, a family member, relationship. You have to learn how to deal with it and move on and not let that break down who you are as a woman. You know what I'm saying? And who you trying to be and what you trying to do. It's OK if you get down sometimes, but it is absolutely not, not OK to stay there. So for me in my life, no, I cannot deal with nobody who is a cheater or who is mis who is misusing me or doing me wrong. Or I can't I can't deal with that in my life right now because. I'm trying to be something so much more bigger. I'm trying to be something so much more better. And I can't deal with embarrassment. I can't. I can't build off of embarrassment. I can't, especially because I'm somebody who's so loving and I literally put effort into everything that I do. And if I love you, I love you hard. You know what I'm saying? So absolutely not can I deal with that in my t today's life. And I'm not ever finna be up in my bed uh, crying and hurt and sad, even if they do happen to me ever again. Because one thing that I had to understand is that everybody ain't got that self-love for themselves that I got for myself. So if anything, I'm not, I'm not mad about you doing something wrong to me. I feel sad for you. I feel sad for you that, that you don't love yourself the way that I love myself. I feel sorry for the fact that you're not feeling so whole within yourself that you got to go seek that in other women. I feel sorry that you're easily had. I feel sorry for you, but I, I can't do the pity party. So you take your sorry ass over there and you go figure your life out and you go deal with different women and do what you got to do because baby, I'm whole over here. You know, and, and eventually I know I'm going to find somebody who, who's going to love this wholeness that I got in me and that's going to respect me and that's going to deal with it such. And if they don't, they can move around too. But the love that I got for myself is so strong that I cannot tolerate something that I am not giving out. Whatever I give out is what I got to get back on. I don't want it at all, baby. And that's just honestly where I'm at. We're in 2022. I'm building. I'm growing. I'm trying to have stuff. I'm trying to get stuff for my life. And if you're not on that journey in yours, that's cool. But you can't be around me. Because like I told y'all before, the prerequisite for any Anybody spending time with you in your life is that they hold the requirement of making you better. Cheating on me can't make me better. It, it, it actually fumbles the bag, too, because I do girl talk. Women look up to me. How can a woman look up to me if I'm not living, living by what I speak of? So I would never be. I would never, ever, ever be what I preach about. You know what I'm saying? If I'm telling y'all don't deal with this, you ain't got to do this. You can move on and do it. I'm telling y'all this because I'm doing it. I'm telling y'all this because this is what works. I'm telling y'all this because this is how you heal. I'm telling y'all this because you. I'm letting you know that it's certain things that you don't have to deal with out of people. So how would I look being a hypocrite and being a complete opposite? You won't fumble my bag. You won't fumble my character. You won't fumble who I'm trying to be and the success that I'm trying to build and trying to become. I could never let just one person ruin that when there's a billions of people out here. So even if a person do make a mistake on that for me, I feel sorry for them. That ain't got shit to do with me. And no, I would not sit in my bed crying. No, I would not be up all night trying to figure out who, what, when, where, how, why. It's not that deep to me no more, to be 100% honest with you. It really is not that deep because I'm realizing how common it is for people not to love who they are because they broken from their history and their past. And I am so sorry if you are broken from things that you went through, but I can't let you fuck me up. I'm sorry. I can't let you fuck up my character. I can't in full afford to embarrass me because of you. I can't afford that. The price is too high. You know what I'm saying? When I say that, I mean it. I can't afford for you to for you to mess up anything that I have going on for me. So in my today's life, absolutely not will I deal with anything other than princess treatment. I need it. I need it <laughs> for me to grow. For me to be who I'm trying to be, baby, I need absolute good treatment. And baby, I'm the type of person, the more that you water my garden, the more that we're going to grow together. <laughs> we're going to do this together. So, you know, 
in my today's life no i cannot and those are some of the reasons on why i can't especially because a lot of women be proud to say some of these women only mess with and this the real tea some of these women only mess with some of these men because you because they with you some women get excited to try to mess with your dude because of the simple fact that he's with you and because they see he's spoiling you and doing all this for you and they're like man i want the same thing but you're not me you're not going to get the, and that's what some women don't understand. When, when, you, when you're not her, you don't get the same treatment that she got. So you might get the penis, you might get the sex, but you can't get the same treatment that she, he was giving her because she gave out something different to him and you're not her. So I don't understand why so many people be so quick to try to, you know, steal a man from up under somebody, uh, shoes. I mean, from up under somebody hand and y'all don't even understand that how you get them is how you lose them. And also, if a man is willing to go against his own woman for you, what you think he going to do to you when he get with you? Like, a lot of women don't think about that. They be so quick to just want, want, want what another person has and don't understand or even know what it took for her to get there or be there with this dude. You want this girl problem so bad that you don't even know he a problem because you so ready to have him because he was. And you, you paying attention to all the stuff that he do for her that make it great, but you might not get the same thing because you're not her and you might not give off the same thing that she gave off. So that's why I told y'all, let these men go and let these women have your problem, baby, because once your problem is off your hands, your life is going to flourish. And I absolutely promise you that. I can promise you that. Like life is always better on the other side. A lot of people be like, oh, it ain't never better on the other side. Or, you know, sometimes that fear and leaving a man can sometimes hold you um with dealing with things that you shouldn't or making you feel like damn what if he get with somebody else and he started treating her better than he treated me but trust and believe me when i tell y'all that i've never seen a man go from hurting one woman and getting with another one and treating her oh so damn good she's gonna catch the same hell that you caught let that man go and let her have your problems baby and be free because we got one life to live and i refuse to be living it unhappy I'm, it's just not happening. I don't know why people love struggle love, but I hate it. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't want to go through hell and back with you to get the best side of you. I want the best side of you in the beginning. Like, why can't you come to me healed? And I know some men out there there are. So that's that's what I want. You give me that. You lead the other stuff to them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I can talk to y'all forever. That concludes our conversation for today. It was definitely amazing talking to you guys. And I love expressing my feelings to you guys. And I hope that y'all going on this YouTube journey with me that you get to see the ins and outs of my life. Me coming from, you know, absolutely, well, not nothing, but just coming from, you know, my start to my finish. Y'all going to grow with me. Y'all going to see the good, the bad, the ugly, and sad. I'm going to be expressing so many different things to y'all. We're going to give so many different topics. And I'm here to help y'all heal. And I hope that whoever was laying around depressed over being cheated on and being misused or being hurt by a man, I hope that you got up. And I hope that you're feeling amazing. And I hope that you're going about your day. And I hope that this gets you out of your bed and it boosts up your confidence. And I hope that you get up and be like, girl, I'm that girl you know because that's my goal of doing this to make y'all to let y'all know that y'all are really so much more than what you go through because like i told y'all before my grandma used to always tell me baby you don't have to look like what you've been through <laughs> okay wear that pain well and go on about your life and i'm so happy that i get to talk to you guys the way that i do now i'm so happy i started this youtube journey and i hope that y'all can push me to grow and grow with me but i can talk to y'all all day i know i will but we finna get to showing y'all this content room real quick because it's done your girl content room is done and i'm so excited so I'm about to show y'all this content room really quick and show y'all the surprise of what came in my house. And then that's going to be it, you guys, for today. I love you guys. Thank you so much for supporting me live. Now, let's get to this. Well, the time is 930, you guys. Washer and dryer is getting delivered currently. Um, That's the vibe this morning. Um, before we start the day. Okay, let's go upstairs so I can show y'all what came. Uh, woo. Okay. All right. Look what came, you guys. Boom! The washer and dryer came. And I've been washing ever since they came, but... You know, so I was really pressed because I had to get whole new washer and dryer. So, 
yes, I decided to choose um, these ones because I feel like white went better. I absolutely love how big they are too. Like, look how big that is. But um, I felt like white went better with the room. I tried gray. Gray just didn't look right in here. So I felt like white was going to look better. So I got these ones and they are so cute and big, you know. But yes, that's some of the washing stuff. Don't mind a little crazy in here right now because I've been washing ever since they came because I was too mad. It did not come with a wash and dry. But yes, those came today, y'all. I was super freaking pressed about that. I'm like, wash? What is my wash and dry? But right now I'm in my content room. Ah! Yes, my content room again. Yeah, but look. The white wall is up. I, I'm going to put, y'all should see a clip of it getting done a little bit. But it is the white. See, this is the thing. You got to put, let me, hold up. Let me flip the camera. So, oh, listen, let me tell y'all. I put the white on the wall to cover so I don't mess this wall up <laughs> with this glue for the cloud wall and stuff like that. But look at my name. Y'all, once they get put up, it's going to be so cute and this lights up too but anyway i got so many goodies and stuff in here that i'm gonna put up like all of this stuff i brought for this content room even got another one of these you know i needed a microphone so you know i was happy about that but i also got these pink um rose gold uh this dresser set and it goes with like this cute makeup stand that i gotta clean off because i've been putting everything up on here but yes i'm doing a big cute cloud wall i can't wait to show y'all how it looks once it's done i gotta hang up all of this stuff and put all of this little cute stuff that i got in here this is what my name um thing came into it came in here so we finna finish putting this up and for y'all don't who don't know i spent some time in here putting up all of like my my little cute old heels and stuff that i don't really wear that much no more but i put them all in here this is my content room clothes two pieces stuff like that stuff i didn't wear is gonna be going in here my some of my business stuff so anyway i'll um end up showing you guys once i'm done but i'm so excited yes the day is here i'm finally putting up my content room so i added some clips i'm about to go change really quick it look crazy in here so don't mind that but I'm about to go change really quick and then I'm going to add in the clips working on the wall. And once it's done, we're done. Oh, love you guys. Be right back. Okay, so halfway through, you guys, we decided to do a heart because... You know, I just felt like a heart was different because everybody been doing the zigzags with theirs. So that's what we're doing right now. It's coming along cute. So y'all, it is currently uh, 6.45 and I had to run to Home Depot to get a couple of things because I ran out of spray for the wall. And yeah, that's what we're doing. And it's early. I got my mask on, you know, you know tired but gotta do what you gotta do oh my gosh look at my cloud wall y'all i absolutely love it and y'all know your girl name daj keys with the key at the end baby ah! i'm super excited you guys i can't wait to show y'all all the decorations and stuff i'm about to put in here baby just wait give me a second and I'm going to show y'all all the decorations. And here we are finally into the content room. Ah, it's done. Look, you guys. That got your girl name. Dajay Keys with the key on the end, baby. Oh, my God. It's finally done. Oh, MG. You guys, let me show y'all the new little stuff I put on the wall. Just some little cute decorations for now. I love this rose gold. This is so cute. I could not let that pass me up when I was in the store. And look. Ah, look how cute this is. This is my rose gold chair. Look. And I got this to remind myself every day that you're doing the best. You know, a trophy with my name on it. <laughs> and then I got my 
gold stapler. My gold sis. Now you know your girl loves some gold and some rose gold. So you know I made the whole room that color base. But oh my gosh. This is all my little goodies. And then y'all know you girl do girl talk. So I got my pink phone in here for when I'm doing my girl talk. Because you know your girl got her LLC. I got my laptop in here. My Mac computer. And you know this little cute flower. Oh my gosh. And it's so not done. I want to put two chairs right here that I'm um waiting to come two rose gold chairs right there so it can look like how like a talk show room but this is just the beginning and i'm so excited you guys and it's gonna be amazing this is where i'm gonna come to work to just unwind from now on i'll be recording my content in here sometimes and i'm super excited that it's at least halfway halfway done i still got so much more that i want to put in here but i gotta wait on everything to come but thank you guys i'm super excited and it looks the best like i absolutely love it especially my name i'm so excited y'all for y'all to go on this journey with me and like you know really see the ins and outs of like everything that i'm doing and what i'm trying to accomplish and what i'm trying to do but this is just one of the first steps i love you guys and it's gonna be Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I'm so excited for y'all to go to the with me. <laughs> Your girl got some more surprises coming soon. Thank y'all. And I hope y'all enjoyed the conversation for today. See you guys in a couple of days. I'm going to start doing it more and more. Okay. And go add my Instagram right here. Go add it. Like, what is you doing? If you're not adding my Instagram right now, <laughs> because y'all know I'm really good you know your girl trying to get together you know what I'm saying <laughs> so anyway I will see you guys later and that is it bye you guys